Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to go over some real simple steps to prepping your chicken. Uh, basically I have here some boneless, uh, skinless chicken breast. This is probably the cheapest uh, form of protein that you're gonna find as far as um, animal proteins. It's, this is at $1.88 per pound. Um, I bought this at Sam's Club and that's a really, really good price for, for skinless, boneless chicken breast. So basically, I, what I usually do is I'll take the chicken breast first um, and then butterfly them before I marinate them. So I'll take all the fat off of it, which is very little. These are actually really lean. I sometimes get chicken breasts that are loaded with fat. I mean, it's crazy how much fat comes off of them. Um, these are actually very, very lean. So I just cut like this on the side. And it's just to make the chicken thinner and easier to cook. So it'll cook faster. And then the tenderloin part of the chicken breast is the other side there, and I just cut it like that. You can see it's like a looks like a big chicken steak now. And this will cook a lot faster than just using the, the whole chicken breast. Um, if you're gonna grill it, you know, it'll, it'll get too done on the outside and still be raw on the inside as thick as these are. So as you can see, that's very, very little, very little fat there from what originally was in the package out of the five and a half pounds. Um, I was buying the, the frozen chicken breast in the bag, the Purdue, and I was getting a ton of uh, liquid when it was done, and I was getting a ton of fat um, after I trimmed them. So as you can see, you're better off buying the fresh chicken breast and then trimming them. These are $1.88 at Publix here, I mean at um, Sam's Club here in Florida. Um, which is really really cheap um, you figure you get at least two eight ounce portions out of every um, well close to two eight ounce portions out of every pound so you're paying about um, 90 something cents 94 cents per per serving of chicken uh, which is going to give you probably about 50 grams of protein roughly so that's really, really good. You're paying less than a dollar per 50 gram serving of protein. That's probably even cheaper than whey protein per serving. So excellent, excellent deal. Um, so what I'll do now is, you know, I use different seasonings, but I'll, I'll, um, I'll actually marinate everything at once. So I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce in this case, um, you know, just to it as a liquid so in all of my recipes I will usually use um, like some kind of liquid first and then I put a dry rub on to uh, make the marinade in this case I'm using the soy sauce um, some curry powder so probably about a couple of teaspoons of curry powder I'll be using some um, garlic and pepper and this garlic and pepper has salt in it so you're not going to add any additional salt on top of that so I say about two teaspoons of that some crushed red pepper and if you guys don't like spice then don't add this because it's going to make it pretty hot the curry is already a little spicy so mix all of that together what I usually do is I leave this refrigerator in a tub of water for about an hour or so um, and then I'll cook it as I need it you know it'll, it'll stay good in there for a few days of course and um, this will make your chicken taste more fresh okay guys so I have here the electric uh, George Foreman uh, grill and what I'll do is I'm gonna spray a little bit of um, spray oil canola and then I'm gonna put my chicken to cook and like I said I won't cook the whole thing 
I'll cook whatever fits in the grill and then the rest will stay marinated. So it will actually get better instead of worse. If you cook it all at once, then you're just gonna dry that chicken out. So I usually cook my chicken two times a week. There's a lot of flavor. Okay guys, so here we have uh, a salad that we're going to make and the chicken just came off the grill, it's done. So I'm going to use that and um, incorporate a salad with it, see how simple this is. Um, so I'm going to be cooking for two of us, for, so it's going to be, um, the macros are really going to be cut in half kind of. So um, if you're cooking just for yourself, you might want to do half of this. These um, romaine lettuces are really small, so um, I'm going to do one romaine for each uh, for the salad. And um, I eat a lot of greens, especially right now I'm just trying to, trying to lose some body fat. So I try to eat as much raw fish as I can and keep the carbohydrates fairly low. If you were doing um, you know, a diet to, to gain muscle or something different then you would probably do rice or bread or something else with um, with the chicken or you could do um, you know sandwiches or whatever with that chicken but it gives you an idea of how versatile it is so, I also do wraps you know wraps are fairly low carbohydrate um, 24 grams per tortilla and I usually just eat one on full for a few hours so those are also good. I'm gonna use that chicken for that too. So there we have two romaine lettuces, and I'll dice them up um, into about one inch, one inch pieces. Then I have some tomatoes that I bought today from Sam's Club, and I'll just cut these in half or in quarters. Drop them in the salad. These smaller ones, you really have to cut them. It's just for personal preference. If you want to eat them whole, you can leave them there whole. I'm going to take about a quarter of a red onion. And also, If you guys don't like onion, you can leave that out, of course. Alright, then I have here um, Italian cheese blend. This is shredded. And I'm going really to put that in the salad also. I'm going to be using a quarter cup. And um, a quarter cup of this is 100 calories. So, because there's two of us eating, it's going to be about 50 calories a piece. So it's not too bad. Put a quarter cup. Put a cup of shredded cheese. And I have here some Amish blue cheese, the same thing. About 100 calories um, per quarter cup. So we're getting about 50 calories um, each from it. So the salad is going to have. Um, we're getting 100 calories each from the cheese, which is not too bad, considering that everything else in there is roughage. And then for the dressing, I use um, tzatziki sauce, which this stuff right here um, is only 40 calories uh, per two tablespoons. So I'm going to use um, four tablespoons, which that's going to give us another 80 calories. So we're up to 140 calories. Um, a piece and then the rest is just the roughage the salad and also I'm going to be adding some chia seeds for some texture and chia seeds are loaded with um, antioxidants and nutrients and loaded with healthy fats and all kinds of other great stuff I'm just going to put um, a tablespoon of chia seeds and that's only going to add um, an extra 
60 calories per tablespoon. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty big salad. Um, and now I'm gonna just take one of these chicken breasts. I'm gonna slice it, put it right over my salad. I want to get about eight ounces. I try to get about eight ounces of chicken, roughly 50 grams of protein. And I recommend you guys, you know, use a food scale for a while until you get used to looking eyeballing the portions. Um, I weighed food for quite a while just to, you know, learn what it was eight ounces of chicken, or, you know, eight ounces of fish, or different foods. So basically, there you have it. That's the finish, finished plate. Um, you know, pretty simple to make, and um, like I said, anybody can make this in you know pretty short time. As long as you prep the chicken ahead of time and you got it, then you you can just make the salad and throw the chicken on top, or you can use um, the chicken for for wraps or whatever else. The idea is just to prep you know enough chicken so it doesn't dry out. So you got it for you know I say three days is the best. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, um, ask me any questions below of any foods that you want to see me make, um, any special plates that maybe you're not sure how to make or you know, you'd like to see a video on, just um, comment below and uh, remember uh, we have over 6,000 supplements on our website justthatmuscle.com. If you have any supplement questions or anything you'd like to know, um, we've been in business for over 10 years. so. Uh, we'd love to help you out with any questions. You can send us an email to support at justthatmuscle.com for any questions or supplements or nutrition.